653 time for the morning spring. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss says he's created a panel to investigate the criteria for impeachment of a state Supreme Court justice. The panel consists of three former Wisconsin Supreme Court justices. Voss has not named them. He says they are not being paid and will probably complete their jobs within the next few weeks. A University of Wisconsin-Madison official says the school will not cut diversity, equity, and inclusion positions. Student publication The Daily Cardinal is reporting the Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs made that statement last night at a student government meeting. It comes after the Joint Finance Committee withheld $32 million from the UW system over DEI programs. Today, the Senate will likely vote on firing Wisconsin's top elections official. This comes days after a Republican-controlled committee recommended firing her. Governor Evers says this is an abuse of power. Elections observers say they're concerned this will further encourage skeptics who have already harassed elections officials over the 2020 election. A scam alert from the Wisconsin Better Business Bureau. Scammers are out there promising to turn a few hundred bucks of cryptocurrency into thousands in no time. This is all stemming from a viral video on social media. Scammers then ask you to send the money digitally through services like PayPal. Then when you try to get the money back, the scammer claims you have to pay a fee. When you pay the fee, you don't get even your original money back. People in Portage are frightened this morning after a video from the weekend shows three members of the police department threatening to burn a house down. All three were fired. The Portage police chief condemned their actions. The three were arrested on Sunday. We've reached out to the Portage mayor for comment, but haven't heard back yet. We now know when uh, Vice President Kamala Harris is going to head to town. She will be at the University of Wisconsin on October 4th. The White House says it's part of her Fight for Our Freedoms college tour. The tour will focus on getting young people to the polls for things like abortion rights, LGBTQ plus rights, and climate change. The United Auto Workers could go on strike at midnight. That's when the workers' contract expires. This would be the first time in history the union strikes all three big auto companies. The union is demanding a 46% pay raise over the next four years. If the strike happens, some suppliers may need to shut down or lay off workers. A federal judge says the Obama-era Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals Program, or DACA, is illegal. The judge didn't order an immediate end to the program, so there is no impact to current beneficiaries. But the issue will likely head to the Supreme Court for a final decision. The Biden administration has already come out against the ruling. Kelly? Oh, good morning. Uh, coming up on uh, 7 o'clock as we are still watching some of this fog, especially off to the west as you get into the Wisconsin River Valley, but also some of the river valleys in western parts of Dane County uh, areas to the west might see some of that fog this morning. Chilly, one of the coolest mornings we've had so far this season. We're in the upper 30s and 40s here locally. But after that fog burns off, it's going to be a beautiful afternoon as temperatures climb into the mid-60s here at the noon hour, lower 70s later today. So that's going to be warmer than where we were yesterday. As we climb into the low 70s today, should be a beautiful afternoon for us. Another decent day tomorrow. Some clouds roll in tomorrow afternoon. That'll bring us a chance of rain Friday night into Saturday. Thanks, Kelly. We're back with a news and weather update in 30 minutes.